armed with a knife, a man is shot by an Oregon state trooper. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Wood. And I'm Angelica Thornton. We're now hearing from that man's family, and they're saying he was upset over a recent death. K2's Megan Coxstein has been following this story since it happened yesterday. Megan, you talked to the suspect's mother? Yeah, I talked to Scott Campbell's mom off camera. She did not want to speak to us on camera this evening. She says she spoke to her son just hours before the shooting happened out here on Southeast 82nd Drive. She says that her son was very upset. He was crying to her, and she says he was actually on the way over to her home, which is near here. The 37-year-old was very close to his grandmother, who died two weeks ago. Yesterday, we are told that he was upset after reading her obituary in the newspaper. Investigators say Campbell was drinking Sunday afternoon. They say he got into his truck, hit a telephone pole, and also a post in this Milwaukee neighborhood. Then his uncle says Campbell's truck ran out of gas, so he left it near the I-205 southbound on-ramp and took off on foot. Tripper Justin Lane spotted him on Southeast 82nd Drive. Investigators say he was armed with a knife. They say he cooperated at first, but then stopped cooperating, and that is when Trooper Lane shot him twice. He was carrying a knife, but uh, he didn't ever pull it on the police officer. He was carrying it in his back pocket. I asked Lieutenant Greg Hastings what was said between Trooper Lane and Campbell just before the shooting. He says they are still interviewing witnesses, and that includes Campbell and Lane, and that the information will then go to the district attorney's office. We are told that Campbell has a wife and five children. He was taken to OHSU. We are live in Clackamas tonight. Megan Cox, nine, K2 News. Megan, thank you. And you know, this marks the 11th officer-involved shooting in the Portland-Salem area within the last year. And of those, seven citizens have been killed.